I actually went and bought a coat today. I was like, I don't have like a winter jacket that looks halfway decent that isn't like for, you know, snow. So I went and bought a coat. That was my big commitment to the cold weather. But I'm about to shoot a series up in Vancouver. So I figured anything I bought that for this kind of cold moment that we're having in Los Angeles that won't last very long, I'll just take up to Canada with me and then it'll come in handy. So what's it going to be like shooting in Vancouver? No more sunshine? Um, I'm really excited. I like cloudy, rainy days, so I hear that happens quite a bit in Vancouver in February. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward also to my daughter. As great as L.A. is and as much as we love living here, I'm really excited to have a few months in not only a different city but a different country and expose her to different new things, you know? It'd be nice. So what are some of your guys' plans while you're out of the country? Um, well, I'm going to be working most of the time I'm going to be shooting, but we, we hope to go up to Whistler for a weekend at least. I've never been. I have, I think, I don't think I've ever been skiing, and I know my daughter hasn't, so I think she and I can do the bunny slope together. And can you tell us a little bit about what you'll be working on while you're there? Yeah, I'm doing a new show called Impastor, and um, we start shooting, it stars Michael Rosenbaum, and he's awesome, and um, we start shooting in February, and then we start airing on the summer on TV Land. Yeah. So you're a mom, you're working full time. How do you stay grounded? How do you balance everything? Are you kidding? How do you not stay grounded? My daughter took a poop on our living room floor the other day. If I ever felt conceited or like good about myself, then I realized I'm cleaning up human feces most of my life. There's no way to not be grounded. And has she sent her Christmas list to Santa yet? Um, she, I asked her what she wanted and it keeps changing. It went from a dog to a balloon back to a dog, to a doll, to a baby, to milk. Oh. All right, so she's mentioned a dog a few times. How do you feel about all the pets? It's not happening. We already have a dog. It's not happening. So I am I am going to get her a little stuffed dog, I think. And I'll just say, yeah, there was a misunderstanding at the poll. They thought that this is what you meant. And what's on your Christmas list this season? Um... My Christmas list is so random. I want like a really good water filter for my house. My poor husband, I have very random Christmas items that I want. I want like a really good water filter for my house. So that's what I told him that I wanted was our main Christmas. Very romantic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Also, what's your New Year's resolution? What's my New Year's resolution? My, I, I want to be more patient in the New Year. That is honestly my New Year's resolution, yeah. So you've done acting, I understand now you're going to be going skiing. Anything on your bucket list you haven't tried? My gosh, I, I feel like a bucket list is for a 70-year-old. I don't have a bucket list. I just want to keep having new experiences. And honestly, like right now, I'm really enjoying just being spending time with my family when I can. Thank you so much for talking to you. Good talking to you. Thank you.